Well, last year was a first year fest, and while we pretty much broke even, we did raise about five or six thousand dollars from some pre-fest benefits. We didn't expect to make money last year as a first year fest, but we certainly created a lot of awareness for the fact that migrant farm workers earn our support and the Harvest Hope Foundation is a unique foundation that provides direct emergency and educational aid to migrant farm workers. Um, one of the offshoots from last year's fest is we've had so many bands, progressive alternative bands, that have jumped on board in exchange for getting great exposure for great cause. They've done a lot of benefits for us. And this year's fest went from 141 bands to 180 bands, four stages to five stages. Um, so we're cautiously optimistic that we'll raise some funds this year. But the ball is rolling and at the small family run foundation we're going to ride it as long as we can because we're educating kids as to where their food comes from and hopefully raising some more funds to provide the kind of aid that we do to migrant farm workers. In terms of awareness, uh, we're millionaires now. Yeah, you know, that's true. Uh, we've gained a lot of awareness of both migrant issues, also the foundation, but the Harvest of Hope Fest, all of a sudden people are just jumping on board and uh, we'd love to see it. It's a, a great vibe and it's one of these win-win-win situations right. for everybody. Well, I just got a call today uh, from Valerie Peak, who's a migrant advocate friend of mine in Irving, Texas, and she says a migrant family appeared at her church yesterday uh, and with no money to pay rent and behind on their utilities, the church is going to supply the rent money. I told her, uh, have somebody pay the utility bill and the foundation will reimburse the family. So that's the kind of networking emergency aid that we do. Uh, so, interestingly enough, a lot of folks don't know that there's actually a reverse migration going on now. It's so tough for migrant workers to make it here. So we had a middle-aged uh, migrant couple out of work living in a shelter in South Carolina that decided they wanted to go back and be reunited with their family in Guatemala. So we provided $600 for their bus tickets to go back. So wow. that's the kind of aid that we provide. Uh, day in and day out we get calls and the interesting is, the thing is every time Phil and I drive to a benefit we get a call from a social worker saying we've got a family here that's stuck, that's stranded. Phil tells them, look, we don't have any money right now, we're going to a benefit, call us in the morning. Sure enough, thanks to all the bands, you know, they call us in the morning, yeah, we have money. So living day to day, it, it's really tough in this uh, harsh economic climate. But, like I say, thanks to all the bands, yeah, definitely. you know, we're making it.